Now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hook up. Get ready for more of the best fishing information and the hottest tips on improving your angling skills. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. And by Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. And now, Southern California's sports fishing voice, the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray and Rock Cod Rick Maxa. Welcome back. Hour number two. Let's talk. Hook up on the Mighty 1090. Pete Gray here with Rock Cod Rick Maxa. We'll be back tomorrow morning in the studio here. We're going to have a great show tomorrow morning with the guys from Fred Hall Show. Mike and Bart will be in the studio with us talking Fred Hall Show. It's Fred. Did you know it's Fred Hall show Showtime? Oh, I do. Yeah. In fact, I got a quick story about the show. Yeah. Um, Jared was up at the... L.A. show, yeah. Long Beach, and he sent me a picture of Margo, my granddaughter, fishing a trout in the trout pond. Yeah. And I looked at that, and I go, oh, my God, it wasn't that long ago that I was doing the exact same thing with Jared. With Jared. And I'm sitting there going, oh, man, i got to send a picture of this to Bart. That's when I called, got Bart's number. It didn't go through for some reason. So I can't wait to talk to Bart. Maybe I'll and even you're going to do it again in Del Mar? Oh, With yeah. Margo? Hey, those things bite. Yeah. I'm they like, were how, biting up there. How can you catch a trout that many times? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know... And then you have the kids walking around with their... They're hungry. Their little plastic bag with their... Oh, their I, got a, I got a story about the plastic bag. One year, I took a Catalina 22 sailboat to the Fred Hall Show. Had it all displayed. Loaded all my gear back up. Park the boat in the parking lot. Because that's when you start. You started as a sailboat. Man. Yeah, yeah. And Bart says, hey, I think you could sell those things, you know, at my show. And I said, what? It's a fishing show. And he says, well, I'll put a rod holder on it. <laughs> sure enough, we sold a bunch of sailboats. But I opened that boat up two weeks later. Oh, my God. One of those little kids put a trout in it and left oh! it. <laughs> oh, can we it's say yeah. <laughs> but, the, but the irony, the, where this story was going. Was I just thought how ironic that year that Jared caught that little fish in the pond? They had painted the fish and they they stuck the fish on T-shirts and made T-shirt prints for the kids. And now Jared's back at that show selling, selling t-shirts, t-shirts with t-shirts. fish on them. There you go. How about <laughs> that? Huh? Well, hey, speaking of uh, T-shirts and Showtime, uh, we're gonna spice it up a little bit. In addition to the fishing mission, we're gonna give you a ticket to go to the Del Mar show. So we're going to give you a fishing mission for one lucky caller today and a ticket to go to the Fred Hall Del Mar show. And then a second caller is going to win the Salty Crew Deep Sea Fishing Short and a ticket to go to the Fred Hall Del Mar show. We'll have those and we'll call for you at the show starting this Thursday. And if you want to join us, a line open at 877-792-1090 and 858 1090 All those lines are full, but keep on trying. And it's time to find out what's biting out there. Catch Report today, sponsored in part by the Sato Crimp and Winer Company, where they only make products that work. Hey, you want to end connection failures? You need the Sato Crimp Kit. It's a must-have piece of gear for your local local or long-range ship. Everything from school-sized tuna to record-sized tuna. And, you know, I was talking to Gary Sato yesterday. He just got back from a Big Fish Royal Star trip, and he's saying that all brass crimps now have made it better than ever and basically eliminated any connection failure. So if you want to eliminate your connection failures on that Fish of a Lifetime, get that uh, get that Spectrum Mono uh, connection system, the Sato Crimp Kit, at your local tackle store like Fisherman's Landing Tackle or at SatoCrimpAndWinder.com. And we have on our YouTube channel, uh, in addition to that uh, John Collins not, we have a demonstration of how to use the Sato Crimp Kit uh, on our YouTube channel, Let's Talk Hookup Radio Show. Just look uh, look into it for the Sato. And Gary Sato himself, is he's such a scientist is teaching you how to use that Sato crimp kit, and uh, be sure to check that out. Let's talk to Mark Wish, Captain Mark Wish from Pacific Edge. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, P. Good morning, guys. Hey. Got that fishdope.com report this morning, don't you? We got some fish dope, guys. Here, open right. up now. So, <clears throat> so the winter that wasn't now is officially over, which was no big deal since it's been like spring or That's fall right, or whatever. Spring. Yeah. So spring has sprung. 
We continue with all this excellent opportunity here, so let me run down just a few things. For offshore, hard to believe, those bluefins are still biting out there on the Cortez, mid-March, big schools of fish up on the bank. Not biting all that well, but showing very well. And, um, you know, now we've got quite a bit of yellow out there and rockfish that can be captured, so good conditions and lots of stuff going on out there. Now, speaking of conditions here, this morning, uh, doing my homework at 4.30 this morning, San Clemente Basin buoy, 64.4 degrees and purple blue. Now, that buoy is in a deep water below the 43, and all week long I've been watching that, 64 to 66. Sure be a shame if some adventuresome soul wandered out there and jigged up something exotic, because that water is looking awful. Wow, out there. that's insane. Yeah, so, and then also, kind of in that same zone, I don't want to say anything just yet, but I heard some very interesting trivia about marlin, and if it checks out, uh, it'll be another fascinating piece of the puzzle, and I will share that next week when I get a little bit more details. But very interesting stuff going on there. As far as our local islands are concerned, I can't ever recall doing this report in mid-March when I've been able to talk about good fishing for yellows at all four islands. I mean, this is crazy. San, San Nicolas, you know, you usually hear nothing but cods and wing cods out there at this time of year, but there's quite a bit of yellow hanging around out there. It's biting. Uh, Santa Barbara Island, lots of red crabs and yellows biting up there, biting on the iron there. Uh, San Clemente is absolutely loaded. Best area has been uh, backside west there, but fish all over the island. And, guys, please pay attention to the Navy closures. Uh, you know, there's a lot of Navy grief from them, and, but, you know, we got to pay attention. They're going to shut that whole place down. Yeah, say. pay attention to that. They yeah. will shut it down. Do not mess with them. Follow their direction. We yeah, don't want to lose that great fishery. That's for sure. And then at Catalina, uh, smaller yellows all over. The whole island, bigger fish are on the back, mostly deep water structure spots, 20 to 40 fathoms, yo-yo iron and dropper loop sardines and mackerel is the best bet there. And then along the coast, big news is a few bit, few more of that tanker grade sea bass starting to push in. It's, you know, been very slow this year and largely overshadowed by yelltail fishing, I think, but, uh, and no squids making things a little more interesting, but there have been some big ones and, uh, mostly mackerel fish and two areas to keep an eye on, both, uh, Rocky Point there at Palos Verdes and then the main kelps from Staying the ocean side of all seeing some fish there. Divers are seeing quite a bit of fish in both those areas. So, holy cow, guys. Holy cow. I, well, are we going to see squid this week, this year? Okay, well, well, before I answer that, let me tell you something else. So this guy named Dr. Jeff Masters uh, writes a really nice blog on Weather Underground. And day for yesterday, he wrote a whole big article about the new tropical stuff that's happening that fuels El Ninos and that one of the top El Nino guys is now forecasting 80% chance of strong El Nino for this fall. So Ooh. in terms of squid situation, I don't know, man. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. Well, the weather is weird everywhere, and that sure really plays into uh, to that for sure. And uh, if you want to keep up on all the information, whether it be spring, summer, Fall or winter, year-round, fishdope.com has your stuff. And year-round, you can save $20 on an annual membership right now, a new annual membership by using the code HOOKUP1090. you got guys like Mark Wish telling you where to go and how to fish it. And, Mark, I know you're going to be at Fred Hall, uh, Del Mar, with bait tanks and books and all that stuff. And then you'll be live here in the Mighty 1090 studio uh, one week from tomorrow, right? Yeah, that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to that and looking forward to doing the show. I've got two uh, seminars, one Saturday uh, early, kind of kicking things off there at 1130, one Saturday, one Sunday. And uh, the guys were kind enough to give me a little bit of extra time, so we got a really nice presentation put together for you, a PowerPoint presentation on some of the latest and greatest cool stuff that's happening. And sure. tell you how to catch a sea bass without squid. <laughs> you know what? Now that you mention that, I better put in a couple new pictures. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mark. And where do we find you at Pacific Edge? Uh, P. Warren Huntington Beach in the corner of Bolsa Chica and Edinger by the big Chevron station. The phone number is 714-840-4262. The website PacificEdgeTackle.com, which is soon going to have pictures of our brand new PE-150D. Beautiful new tank. Cool, man. All right. Well, we'll see you Thursday in the Del Mar Fairgrounds for the Fred Hall Show and talk to you next Saturday and in the studio Sunday. Appreciate it, Mark. Okay. We're looking forward to it. We'll see you guys. All right. Marcos, C4 Sport Fishing. What's going on at C4, Marcos? Well, uh, you know, like I said before, might as well be August right now. Just right there. Great fishing everywhere. The 
half day, all kinds of rockfish, reds, whitefish. They actually had a couple of white sea bass yesterday afternoon, and I still changed there. Three-quarter day trips fishing out the islands. San Diego yesterday, 35 English had 116 yellowtail. Sounds like they're biting on just about everything, surface irons, yo-yo irons, bait, flat falls, and just good fishing. I mean, kind of what we've been seeing there. You heard a little taste of it there. Everywhere's biting. The Tribute ran a midweek day and a half, and they did pretty well for for any time of the year, but specifically for March. I mean, 24 anglers had 13 bluefin, 67 yellowtail, 10 bonita, and 130 rockfish. And I just got to be fair here. That boat came back in, and you know who was on the Tribute? Bob Fletcher. Bob Fletcher was on there. And they caught bluefin and yellowtail. He caught a bluefin. He caught a, you know, a handful of yellowtail there. So he made up for for ruining that San Diego trip that one day. We'll, we'll give him credit for that. <laughs> yeah, but that San Diego fishing has just been incredible, hasn't it? I, yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, they, they took a little bit of time off for uh, boat work earlier in the year there, but they've been running for over a year straight here, so, man. They're just going down there catching fish. and so having, Bob, if you're listening, you better go again on the San Diego. Yeah, well, we'll give him one more chance to make yeah, up for it before for we sure. ban him from the boat. Yeah, because he did well on the tribute, that's for sure. Yeah, and you know what? It's like just that three-quarter day to San Diego. They've done such a good job with that boat. They've got the fish hold on there to keep your fish fresh, which is great on the three-quarter day boats. They've done great on there. New Seaforth, great fishing. Those day and a half, great fishing. And we're still sending some boats out to the banks there, some of them going down the coast, so you definitely have a few options. Check the website, seaforthlanding.com. Our half-day, three-quarter day, day and a half are up there. Starting pretty soon, uh, beginning of April, they're going to be running some twilight trips, another fan favorite there. So lots of options. Check the website, seaforthlanding.com. You can make reservations straight online there. You can always call the office, 619-224-3383. And back to a little bit more, more normal weather there. It's not 100 degrees out, but we're having some nice, you know, mid-60 to mid-70 degree weather. Great fishing. What more could you want? Got to love it. Thanks, Marcos, C4 Sport Fishing, and we will talk to you next Saturday. And of course, see all the boys right behind the Let's Talk Hookup booth at the C4 Sport Fishing booth at Del Mar, right? Absolutely. Go visit them there. You can always come down and visit the office. Some of us will be here holding down the fort, and everyone else will be up at the show. There you go. You mean we're not going to see your smiling face at the Del Mar show? No, no. Yeah, you got to hold it. I'm retired from the boat show business. Okay, all right. Well, we'll be there holding it for you, and uh, I know all the guys will be right there front center at the C4 Sport Fishing booth, and talk to you next Saturday. Talk to you then, guys. All right. That is our catch report today, sponsored in part by Job Site Supply, specializing in the mechanical, electrical, and the plumbing trades with lines like Milwaukee Electric Tools. Hey, we personally know these guys. They are great people. They're hardcore fishermen, and they they uh, work hard, too, and they're hardcore uh, about everything they do at Job Site Supply, including taking it serious when it comes to dependable job site delivery and the best in Milwaukee tools. Check JobSiteSupplyCo.com. That's JobSiteSupplyCo.com for more details on the great guys over at Job Site Supply. Hey, let's go ahead and jump into those jam-packed phone lines you want to get through. One chance to get through is 877 877- Seven nine two ten ninety. Doug in Montebello, you're next up on Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning. Hi, I was wondering if um, you guys could make a, a kayak to go offshore. Yeah, they already do. Yeah, right. How far <laughs> offshore can you go? Well, Pete, we were out fishing. You know, we were out yo-yoing up deep yellowtail, and when we went to change positions, we we were driving north, and there was a a revolution sitting out. It had to be five miles out. Five miles off. Yeah. You have to be careful. You have to be conscious. Jared, you've done a lot of fishing. It's just how crazy you want to be. I don't. I don't know if I'd want to pedal my kayak out to anywhere you you know. No. Maybe catch a tuna. I don't know. Maybe this year things will change. Or a thing. mothership operation. But, uh, you know. Yeah. If you're gonna bring yeah, them on your boat, go and off, them. offshore. Yeah. Yeah. Well, typically, typically the boats can go. You know, when you pedal at a good clip, you're going four miles, five miles an hour if you're really heated up. You can get them up to about six or seven miles an hour. Now, how long you can sustain that is, you know, got to work up to it's it. It's your fitness. Now, every, all bet, when you go way offshore, all bets are off when it gets windy and rough. We're not recommending it's an inshore fishery thing. We're not recommending Absolutely. this. There are adventurers that do wild oh, and crazy things. they do. Things. I mean, I know. I've heard lots of stories. I... I personally think that, um, you know, seamanship is a little bit like common sense. 
you know, you don't want to, I mean, I have a huge respect for that ocean out there. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, you need a plan B. You yeah. need a plan C, you know. So Now, mothership operation is a different deal. For example, our Shimano Let's Talk hookup on the water seminar aboard the Islander. We've all been on it. We go out to San Clemente Island, and sometimes there's kind of some extreme hazardous conditions well, out there. Well, how about the surf that one uh, year? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, uh, but you can, it's amazing what you can do on that trip, right, guys? Oh, I love that. Yeah. Uh, I've, just the reports so far this year, like if you haven't signed up for that, that trip coming up. Uh, yeah. When, better when get is on. it again? Uh, it's June. the beginning of June. Yeah. Yeah. Get on that one. It's probably going to be, oh, probably it's, gonna be one of the best. Yeah. And for the first 10 people that sign up and don't have a kayak, uh, Ron at Fastlane are gonna, is, is going to provide one for you for a $50 rental fee. They'll bring the Hobie Mirage Drive kayak to, to you, load it on the boat for you at Fisherman's Landing on the Islander so you can go experience probably one of the greatest fishing things you've ever done. And if you buy a boat after the trip, which you probably will if you already have one, that $50 will apply to the cost of the of, of the boat, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Now, so, what a great way to you know go fishing with some prospective clients. Yeah. It's I'll use any excuse to go fishing. Well, and Ron, you, you'll be on that trip, right? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, if Jared's not too busy running around with Salty, maybe we can even He'll get him He'll be too busy there. running around with somebody else. Oh, he's got a baby coming, oh, right? Oh, man, I will. That'll be I'll right. Be chasing, chasing kids around. <laughs> yeah, he'll be chasing kids around. But if you go to our trips page, hookup1090.com, uh, that trip, and along with all our Shimano Let's Talk Hookup on the Water seminars, are listed right there. Uh, but you definitely want to get on these trips. It's uh, Our first one is coming up here uh, May 16th. Uh, the Shimano Let's Talk Hookup open water trip aboard the Some Fun out of Dana Wharf Sport Fishing, three-quarter day trip. Still has availabilities in there. They're booking through different tackle stores. So, for example, on our Shimano Let's Talk Hookup on the water seminar aboard the Islander, the mothership, which is Wednesday, June 3rd to Friday, June 5th. It's a day and a half trip. Uh, you just click on the blue part of that trip, and it tells you you're going to hook, hook, hook that up right through Fisherman's Landing Tackle. Not the landing side, but the tackle store side. And there, and that trip, I can tell you right now, it always fills up very quickly. And it's a five-star just, trip. It, you, it, there's just a few spots available. So check it out on our website, hookup1090.com, of all of our Shimano Let's Talk hookup on the water seminars, including that trip aboard the kayak trip aboard the Islander. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Let's go ahead and jump back in the phones and talk to Mike in Carlsbad. Good morning, Mike. Uh, good morning, gentlemen. How's everything? Excellent. I, I, would, I have a uh, question for Ron. How does that Mirage Drive work? You know what? That That's exactly what I said the first time I saw it. <laughs> I said, what the heck do we need that thing for? I mean, yeah. it looks so counterintuitive. They go sideways, and they, they're, you know... I was confused, but I got to tell you, once you get in that boat and you pedal a very short little cadence, you're just moving your feet back and forth, all of a sudden you're going faster than you, you it's it's amazing, it's faster than paddling, your legs being so much stronger than your arms, you can do it longer, and now that leaves your hands free to fish. Yeah. Well, what's cool is the, the guy, um, Greg Ketterman, who designed the Mirage Drive, um, he's looking at nature and and how a penguin swims is is what's propelling your kayak and so it's just, and you it's can a, see how fast the penguins can swim yeah and so it's using it's using this um, you know looking at so, something that's pretty efficient in the water and using that that concept and and putting it into a mechanical piece into a kayak and then now we're all blown away and I, I you know I wouldn't even be on a kayak literally. I would not go kayaking if if there wasn't a pedal system in it. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's so efficient. You have no well, idea. Well, you know, one of the things is as um, my wife and I, Debbie, would go kayaking with me, and we when we're out kayaking, I get excited. I see a cave. I want to go explore it. You know, so I hurry up. Well, she couldn't keep up with me. With the upper body strength, nobody different. can keep up with you. Well, wait a minute. Yes, they can. Yeah. Anyway, but the uh, the the paddling thing, we're paddling along, and she's always wait up, wait up, and and I'm going, come on, honey, it's right there, hurry. 
You know, but with the pedals, oh my goodness, she's faster than I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's so the their, neutralizing it's... the advantage that guys have over gals paddling, not all of them, but yeah. you know what I'm saying. But every, it's... you know, the, your strongest part of your body is your, are your legs, right? So... And so now you're using it, your legs, and that leaves your hands free to fish. And for guys with shoulder issues like me, it yeah. makes it a lot easier, right? Oh, I, I absolutely, I'm in just amazed. And every time I see that guy now... You know, the same guy invented this incredible sailboat that sails twice the speed of the wind. He did that years ago. Now all the America Cup boats are foiling. But this yeah. genius guy, now every time I see him, I what are you designing now? And did he do the seat, too? No, that was yeah. Phil. Okay. Yeah, no, they, they got have a some whole, brilliant guys at Hobie. That's the thing, is they're innovative. Yeah. Every year those boats get better. We've had a... You know, we had one caller ask about what's the difference between the two boats. Well, every year those boats change. They keep improving that product, which is amazing to me that they can keep coming up with stuff. Indeed. Hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. Bart Hall, big event this weekend. And, of course, we're going to talk all about it tomorrow morning with you and Mike in the studio. Good morning, Bart. Good morning. I just wanted to say hi to two of my favorite people. How are you guys doing? Hey, hey Bart. Bart. Were your ears burning? They certainly were. My goodness, you know, I, I'm feeling pretty old here this morning. I remember when Jared was born. <laughs> oh, By the way, Ava wants to thank you for changing the dates of the the show this year because it's not on her birthday. That's right. <laughs> Ava turns 20 tomorrow. Yeah, 20. How about, how about that aging you, Bart? Boy, that's really something. Happy well, birthday, Ava. Yeah, happy birthday, Ava. I'll tell you, that's pretty cool. And that trout story was cool. But I thought of something while you were talking, and I was thinking, you know, we got this big pool out there that dogs jump into, and we got this big pool over there that they, they uh, roll logs in. You know, if somebody really has to see the difference between a 12 and a 14, we'll go throw them out in the pool. <laughs> what a great you know, idea. I know you will. Absolutely. <laughs> Every Why time not? he comes up with an idea, I just say, I'm all in. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're, you're going to be too busy probably to do that, but if somebody really wants to know and they can't wait for the fishing mission, we're going to go put them in that pool. <laughs> Perfect. I like it. I love it. And that uh, dog pool, man, you could actually pedal. Can't we just well, get in the trout pool? <laughs> <laughs> do a little fishing at the same time? No, you wouldn't be able to turn it around. In the <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know. Guys, that, that thing's so cool, Bart. It was so fun to... I, I got to take my daughter Margo over there at, at Long Beach. I don't know if you heard the whole story, but it was it was it was really funny, and she had the hugest smile. We we have a great video, so that's what I sent my dad, and he was just just kind of tripping on the whole deal. I want to see that, Jared. I really do want to see that. I'm yeah. impressed that you didn't come to me, so and because you <laughs> you probably had to wait in the line. So. Oh yeah, but that's all part of the fun. I just <laughs> that show's so cool and it's so special, and I was so excited to be able to be there with the salty crew and. And, you know, like my my dad's been doing this show for, I don't know, what is it? It's over 30 years now or something like that. But, um, you know, so it's just really cool to be a part of. And I appreciate what you do for the fishing community and and, uh, and for kids and, and, and everything you got going on. It's it's a blast. Well, Jenny and I were actually talking about that at Long Beach. You know, it was so cool that you're there with the Salty crew. And, you know, it's, it's just very cool. I mean, it's, it's nice for me to see. You know, to know families and to see families continue in the tradition of uh, promoting sport fishing, and God bless you. I'm 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 anxious. That one of the reasons I'm so anxious about the Del Mar show is that I get to see Ron and his booth. And that and hey, Ron, <laughs> I, that, uh, did you ever get that? Uh, you have a backdrop, right? That's going to go. We're going to we're going to put up. A boat in the water, and we're going to have a backdrop where people can take pictures. Yeah, yeah. This is we're it, we're working feverishly on that because I had a board meeting that lasted a couple of extra days. <laughs> yes, I heard about that. Yeah. And and um and so yeah, and I and I ordered up these um, you know, I got these fake yellowtail, and and it's going to be great. You know, you're going to look like replicas, not yeah. fake. They're replicas. Replicas. Yeah. Yeah. Well. It's so amazing. You know, Hayden is, Jared's brother, Hayden, my youngest son, always comes up with these funny things to do. And so he grabs this giant tuna, jumps in front of Jared in a picture of a, his yellowtail at Cedros Island, and holds up this tuna, and he's sitting in a boat in front of it. And I go, that looks really real. Good one. So we're going to try to duplicate that. Hey, Bart, are we talking earlier about how those trout were biting in Long Beach, and I know 
that Department of Fish and Wildlife provided the fish this year, and there were big ones, and they were biting. Same deal in Del Mar? Same deal in Del Mar. Uh, it was uh, uh, Mike that uh, worked out a deal with the DFW, and they've done a really good job because we try to get our suppliers to always bring the trout in a little hungry. Sometimes they don't pay any attention to us, you know, and or or they they get screwed up and they deliver them anyway. But in Long Beach, they're delivered hungry, and whoa! And the same thing will happen in Del Mar. They're going to be delivered hungry, and they will be snapping. So, <laughs> right, okay. bring your yeah. kids, have them catch a trout. Bring those kids. Bart, we'll see you tomorrow morning in the Mighty 1090 Studio. You and Mike Lump, seven to nine a.m. Lots of f- uh, show talk there. Right. I just want to tell you how much I've enjoyed this show today. It's great to be in my kitchen listening and cooking, and it's been fun. All right. <laughs> Wish we were there. Thanks, what are you Mark. cooking this morning? I uh, I have my grandson here, so he's kind of a gourmet. So we're having uh, we're having two cheese egg omelets and the bacon oh. and, ba- and bagels. <laughs> oh, you're making me hungry. All right, yeah. Bart. See you tomorrow morning. Thanks a lot for the call. Appreciate Bye-bye. that. And when we come back, more of your phone calls, more Let's Talk hookup with Ron and Jared Lane right here on the Mighty 1090. Everyone likes special treatment. You know, kind of feel like a VIP. Well, that's how our listeners are treated at Poway Valley Collision. I have personally heard of several stories of how well our friends Jim and Mary take care of their customers that we sent them. Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. We know you may not need them today, but when accidents happen, it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. And listen to this. Our listeners get a special discount that can save you hundreds of dollars on your car or truck repair. Just tell them you listen to the show and you get the deal. They work with most insurance companies, including Auto Club, Met life Wawanisa and more just bring your car or truck to them and let Poway Valley Collision do the rest I have had my truck repaired at Poway Valley Collision and the job was perfect so get your vehicle fixed right at Poway Valley Collision tell them you listen to Let's Talk Hookup and they'll save you money on your repair Poway Valley Collision 14211 Garden Road in Poway check PowayValleyCollision.com it's time for our Power Pro 60 second seminar you heard it right here on Let's Talk Hookup earlier Jared talking about the Power Pro advantage when fishing light tackle in the bay. It's unbelievable. If you're still fishing, you know, straight monofilament, man, you're, you're missing a lot of fish because, especially if you're fishing plastic, being able to fish Power Pro thin, like I fish like 20 and 30 pound Power Pro, which has such a thin diameter, it's almost like sewing thread. It's so thin. And then you attach some cigar fluorocarbon to that. You have a weapon in the bay that catches fish. Not only that, the other thing about Power Pro is that you feel those bites and the connection. You put a little piece of uh, cigar fluorocarbon on there, and you're feeling those bites, and you're connecting and hooking up with those fish. So if you're fishing light tackle in the bay, get that Power Pro advantage today at your local tackle store or check out PowerPro.com. For over five decades, Lee Palm Sport Fishing has set the standard in long-range fishing that they pioneered long ago. The Red Rooster 3 sets a new standard of excellence. The Red Rooster 3 is one of the most modern, quiet, and fastest long-range vessels in the fleet. They have handpicked the finest crew to make your trip a memorable one. The Red Rooster 3 offers trips from 3 to 18 days and runs year-round to the best fishing spots on the planet. Ride the Red Rooster 3 once and you'll be back again. Call the Red Rooster 3 at 619 224 57 or see them on the web at redrooster3.com. It's Fred Hall show time. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the saltwater tackle professionals. Be sure to stop by the Fisherman's Landing Tackle booth. You'll find the most complete selection of saltwater tackle at the show, including Cousins, building classic tackle based on five decades of experience. Cousins builds the perfect rod for your style of fishing with over 120 designs and actions. See the newly designed Cousins booth right across from us. The Fisherman's Landing Tackle staff is Use the gear and knows your needs. Come see our best booth ever. Fisherman's Landing Tackle, a must visit at this year's Fred Hall Show. Sport fishing, not just for dad anymore. At Dana Wharf Sport Fishing, kids fish free every Sunday. Free half day fishing trip and clinic free for kids 12 and under every Sunday at Dana Wharf. Join the Dana Wharf Kids Club and get over $100 of really cool stuff like two free fishing trips, a free whale watch trip, and more. Dana Wharf, everyone's favorite since 1971. Click DanaWharf.com or visit them in the Dana Point Harbor, the vast capital of the West, and only minutes from the 5 Freeway in Orange County. DanaWharf.com, where kids fish free. 
When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. Welcome back. Let's talk hook up on the Mighty 1090. Talk about Calstar. There's going to be some deals at the Fred Hall Del Mar show on Calstar. So you're going to want to be sure to check that out indeed. Uh, and I want to I remind you, check out our YouTube channel, Let's Talk Hook Up Radio Show. Uh, just go to YouTube. You can go to our website, hookup1090.com. There you'll see a bunch of icons on the top right. Click on that red icon. That's our YouTube channel. Or you can just uh, Google up. Let's Talk Hookup Radio Show on YouTube. And we're hosting all of our uh, show archives now on our YouTube channel. In addition to the great videos like the John Collins Knot or the Sato Crimp Knot or uh, various videos from our trips, like I'm just finishing up a video from our, our Panama, our Pesca Panama trip with Cast Tours. It'll be up there this week. Uh, watch for that coming up on our YouTube channel. But you know what? The best way to do it is to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just go to Let's Talk Hook Up Radio Show and hit subscribe. And when a new video goes up or a new archive goes up, it'll tell you. So you, there's three ways now you can get our archive, our, our shows. You can listen to past shows of Let's Talk Hook Up. One is on our YouTube channel. Two would be on our website, hookup1090.com, on our archives page. Or you can subscribe to iTunes and have it automatically downloaded to your iTunes there. So sure to check that out. Let's go ahead and jump back into the phones, and let's talk to Dennis in Norwalk. Good morning, Dennis. Thanks for hanging in there. Yes, good morning. I just have a, a question for your guests that you have on the air today. Go ahead. Okay, uh, I never was in a kayak before. I went in, you know, small boats before with, you know, just the regular two-oar boats and stuff. You do have a training program, correct, where you, they learn how to do everything? Absolutely. It's called Fish and Mission. Right? Yep. Yep. There's no better. You are the guy that we designed this program for. What I want you to do is go on our website, fastlanekayaking.com, and watch the Fish and Mission teasers we have on there. You'll see exactly how we launch the boats next to the store You'll see where we go fishing in Mission Bay, which is a very smooth, calm area to fish. Fishing is really good in there. You'll catch spotted bay bass and halibut. Then we, 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 you'll see how we land the boats on the beach. We have a nice little restroom stop, which is kind of convenient, where we get some waters and some snacks in the middle of the... So much the, fun. It is. And then... Um, when we come back to the store, we provide a really great lunch. You'll have a chance to ask any other questions about the fishing techniques we use or how the boats work. But you'll literally get in a boat, be able to try a couple of different models. It's so easy to do. And then the $100 that it costs, if you ever want to buy one, comes right off the price of the boat. Sweet! Yeah. Mission, mission. And then if you can't make it on a Sunday, we also have some Saturday dates available and and we have a Friday. We're trying a Friday. So a guy who wants to maybe stretch a weekend out a little longer, it's Friday, April 10th. We're going to go on a fishing mission. Now, here's another opportunity. You are looking for the ultimate uh, builder of, uh, of, of uh, morale at your work. You can do your own fishing mission, right? You know, we got this idea that team building, I mean, when you go fishing with a group of guys... Or gals, gals. We took, we took a bunch of oh. people from the from the fishing industry. How about last that? Year? How about the gal from Hobie uh, Surf Shops? Yeah. Oh, she was oh, a she's pistol. Great. And Lori from the American Angler. I oh mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. We had, uh, Rosie and Sean. Rosie Flowers. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was great. What a great team building experience. So if you have a and it's cheap. Yeah. I mean, well. My gosh, a hundred bucks. So you take twelve year people. You're co- talking about twelve hundred bucks to take. A team of people at your office on a ha- half day trip out on Mission Bay on kayaks, and I, I mean, I don't see how you can not guarantee that they're going to have a great time. All right? the gear, all the and gear talk is about provided it for six months. Oh yeah. well, it's fun, yeah. and then you have an opportunity to be out doing something 
that's, uh, I mean, really fun. And then one of the things that we really enjoy doing on those those little private trips is we'll have tickets. The guides will have tickets, and we give them tickets for every fish caught, and you have a drawing afterwards for, you know, some swag. Fun swag and it, yeah, yeah, so it's not like a fishing contest, but it is. So if you want to set up a custom fishing mission for your people in your office or your friends or your family or whatever, just call Fast Lane. Oh, call Fast and Lane. And say, we want to do this. Yeah, say, how do we do it? Just, how we'll do we give do it? it? We'll just pick a date together. and put it together. I'm telling you, we did it. Ron came to me, and he said, pick some people in the fishing biz and invite them to a fishing mission. So we did. We had such a great time. It was started at 7 o'clock in the morning. We were all done by 1 o'clock, right? right. Lunch, the whole deal. Right. You, you know, the homemade cookies, when I smell those cookies, fish and, and mission's sandwiches, over. <laughs> the, the sandwiches from uh, Dana Landing and Mission Bay, fantastic. Really, really great. But that, that little teaser film or that little video on our website will we'll give you a flavor of where we're fishing. I mean, we had a guy flying a drone over us fishing and where we're meeting, and you'll get a real good visual of what we're doing out there. And I, I tell you, it is so fun. Watch the video. Definitely give us a call and sign up. All right. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Dan in San Diego, you're next up on Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Thank you for taking my call. I, I had a totally different question, but I've been listening now, and now I'm all kind of excited about this whole fishing mission thing. Uh, I'm on your website right now, but and I heard the, the offer for a Friday morning date and i i work saturday sunday mornings usually so that sounds kind of cool but i can't find on your website with the, the dates for that so that friday, friday it, date you had is it, what? It's, it's april 10th april 10th so uh, what are the hours it, well we typically i i'd like you to get there at 6 45 and that's so that we can morning. yeah that's so we can start to negotiate the uh coffee relief time <laughs> And then uh, we get started right at 7, and there'll be a little tutorial that just takes a few minutes, and then we launch. We're on the water till about 9, then we have a little snack break. And snack and bathroom break. Yeah, in, yeah. In Mission Bay. Yep. And then we fish till around 11, 15 to 11.30, and then we come in and have a great lunch with homemade cookies. It's, yeah. it's fun. And it, it's really and kind of... And you're done by, by 1 o'clock. Yeah. You're done, well, 12.30, 1 o'clock. Or yeah. yeah. And, and one of the really great things is we have a staff that will help you pull the boats out. We're launching right at Dana Landing. We're right close to the fishing ground. So... It's not like a lot of travel or anything. You're fishing right away. And and the guides come alongside you, and they'll be watching and helping with technique and how to learn those little swim baits with the weedless. You know, it, it's fun to fish with Afrin Abutin from War Baits. It's really fun to fish with Kevin Nakata oh, yeah. from the Sea Samurai. And it's Samurai. fun to fish with you, too. Well, because you get kind of giggly when you start oh, yeah. this, uh, oh, you know, yeah, spotted, right, for Jared? Well, it's how fun. I mean, come on, we're fishing, yeah, I, and I'm doing it for work. Yeah, my favorite, my favorite is when he's pedaling around and he's got you know the killer fish finder on his kayak, and then he's like, oh, 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 right, oh, right here, cast right here, right, right here, no, no, you, right here, cast right here, <laughs> <laughs> and they do, and I've watched like three times guys make a cast right under his kayak and catch fish. It's catch the funniest thing. It let works. me let me uh, let me add something here because I, I actually had. I had no interest in, in going back out on a, a kayak until I started listening to you guys and listening about the, the whole pedaling thing. Cause I used to go years ago with a friend of mine. He'd loan me his, one of his kayaks, and we'd, we'd go through the surf at La Jolla Shores, and, I, and we'd paddle with, a, with an oar. And I, you know, I really didn't know what I was doing, but we'd, we'd paddle out, and then I'd point into the waves, and I'd put the paddle down and get my rod, and I'd get ready to fish, and then like the waves would turn me, and then I'd have to put my rod down and, and pick up the oar and paddle, 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 and get face back into the wind, and then put the oar down, and it was like such a hassle and I ended up getting a little seasick and I looked up one time and I lost my balance and I, I, I dumped, I dumped the kayak and I dropped my rod to the bottom of the ocean that I'd had since I was a teenager and I was so turned off from kayak fishing from that, that whole episode I never went again. That was 10 years ago. So I'm kind of interested in looking at these, uh, these pedal well, kayaks. You're, you're exactly the guy that we designed fishing mission for. Yeah. The, the, I mean, and wait till this you get is aboard not a, a this pro is, angler. Oh, oh man. man, you're this, not going to dump that. This is yeah. not a. This is not the typical kayak, and that's why you know you heard Bart Hall from the uh, the the show. Yeah. He, he's a consummate showman. Anytime he has an idea, like if he asked me to be there at five in the morning to talk to some news guy, I'm on it because he just understands the fishing industry. He's putting a pool in my booth. 
so that you can step into the boat and see how stable it is. I'm going to do that. I heard him say, I'm gonna, Ron, I think we should get you a pool. And I'm going, what? I can just see kids swimming in it, and you know, <laughs> I, what about putting one in the in the dog pool, man? That, uh, well, I got I got to tell you, any, if he wants me in there, I'm in there because okay. because he's the formula for how to sell boats. And, yeah. And when you try these new boats, you're going to be very excited about because you know Jared, when he was a kid, we were paddling kayaks around yeah. and and you know fishing out of them. And so when we get this new technology and these new things, Hobie's inventing. I'm telling yeah. you, I'm very excited about it. And it's going to be a thing that I think continues to get more exciting with techniques on how to catch. I mean, Jared was, a few years ago, he was catching monster white sea bass. A few years ago, now he's a daddy and he can't go fishing anymore. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, wait a minute here. Yeah, he no, can. I just, I just love that. I love hearing this because it's, it's uh, you know, like I worked at, at Fastlane for a long time and I've, you know, heard people. And, and it's so fun to watch them, you know, they... It, you can, you know, oh, I'm not getting in that kayak. I got, I had a lot of guys that are boating guys, and they're just going, you know, no way I'm ever getting in a kayak. Well, the pro angler changed that that whole mentality, and there's a lot of guys that said they'd never get in a kayak. But, you know, it's just like in my, my, my surfboards, like I got a quiver. You know, you got a board for different conditions and size ways, whatever. Yeah. It, a kayak just kind of fits into that quiver, you know. Like I have a 26-foot Blackman that I fish on a lot. And then we've I got salty. My, my yeah, I got my <laughs> I got my pro angler, you know, and I got you know, but it, it fits in there. And and guys who've had experiences like yours or yep. or have fished on boats their whole life says you're not going to get me one of those little things. But it's yeah. it's it's a different sport, and it's really fun because you're close to the water. It's quiet. There's no engine running, and you're you're controlled to smaller areas that you you know. And so. Um, you're going on one of these fishing missions. What the raddest part is, I can just tell you right now, like you're gonna go and have a completely different experience and and enjoy every second of it. Oh so yeah, love for that sure. Either. That last trip was it was so frustrating because he was in a hurry. He was waiting for me, and he goes, "Come on, come on, let's go." And I go, "I, I got to rig up my rod." He goes, "You'll do it out on the water." So we went and got out there, and then I got out on the water, and I realized I I can't reach the end of my tip of my rod. I what do I do? You know, like, <laughs> I, I couldn't rig up because I mean I finally did, but I you can't set it on the ground and run the run the line through the the ferrules and, yeah. and the guides when you can't put it on the ground. But what I a guess, great call! Yeah, oh, for yeah. sure. Hey Dan, I, I, I know the original, and thanks to our extraordinary engineer Adam uh, here at the Mighty Ten Ninety for covering for Ryan, who's out doing some field research today, doing not only the board running the board there, but also screening all the calls today. Thanks, Adam. Uh, he had told, said that you had a question about. About when's the Rollo drawing a week from tomorrow? And I got that information thanks to Mike Lum. 445 Sunday on the Cousin Stage, which is in the seaside tent, which is the middle tent there between the two halls. And it's right next to the giant San Diego County Ford dealer display, which is really, really going to be a great one there. Hey, we'll see you at the show, Dan. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Good job there. Chris in San Diego, you're on next. Let's talk hookup. Good morning. Good morning. I have a, a couple of questions uh, regarding the kayaks at night. Uh, will you guys, if I, uh, 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 do you guys set them up so you can go crabbing and you have to register them with um, uh, um, Coast Guard? And also, my brother, who's a disabled vet at Fishing Mission, he's concerned that he will need help getting out of the boat. You know, in and out. Is that something you guys can help them with? So, first of all, lobster fishing or crab fishing. Of course, lobster season just ended, but uh, when the season's going, a lot of guys ask, uh, uh, ask Jim Councilman, Salazar. Oh, how about Councilman Scott Sherman? Oh, yeah. Uh, from Fifth Avenue Insurance. He lobster fishes all the time from his kayak. And uh, it's done all the time, right, Jerry? Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Yep. They, you know, and even uh, the kayaks are kind of built. There's accessories, and they're built in a way that you can. You can stack your hoops on them, and oh, but uh, there's an accessory in the Hobie catalog, huh? There's accessory for pretty much everything in that catalog, but you know, and then you'll need light, you know, lighting so that yeah. you're you're safe and lighting's um, key. All right, you know, so but yeah, all that stuff's totally doable. Now, what about disabled people? In well, that's the kayak? interesting because um, about seven years ago, I started doing an event called the Summer Sports Clinic with the disabled veterans, you know, from the Veterans Administration. Yeah. They asked me to bring down a few kayaks and drop them off. Well, I spent the whole week there with uh, vets, um, you know, and now I'm up to, I bring 50 kayaks, and we spend a week with these guys, putting them in boats, 
and not there fishing with them, but touring with them because it's, it's a different event. They yeah. play game. We actually play football in kayaks. Wow. So, and Chris, the, probably great to call Fast Lane. Yeah, and if, if there's a question, he can always come yeah. down for a demo. And, maybe get and we can in that. Yeah, we can try. Yeah. Well, thing is, is if, if he's disabled, we need to maybe try one-on-one at the store with a typical demo ride yeah. to see if he can do it. There you go. Hey, thanks a lot for the call. We're going to try and sneak in one more. Arnie and Vista, just about 30 seconds left. Hey, guys. Good morning. Hey, a lot of my questions got answered, uh, but I want to thank you guys very much. Um, uh, uh, what are the dates on the fishing mission? I don't see it on the website. That's one thing I'm looking at. Yeah, but they're they're on there. I, I'm not in front of it, so I can't tell you how to surf around. But in April, we have the fourth, the tenth, the twelfth, the nineteenth, and the twenty sixth. So that's pretty much the last three Sundays, the first Saturday, and the okay. Friday. And then in May, we have now. A, can you sign up online? Yeah, you can. You yeah, can. it's it's on our website. I just yeah. don't. I I can't yeah. tell you how to do it right now. But yeah, it's, if you surf around a little bit, you can sign up online. But but please just call the shop. Yeah. You know, it's six one nine two 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 zero seven six six. Or see you at the Del Mar show, uh sign up for fishing mission and then you can apply that and get the free goods, the two hundred or three hundred dollars in free goods when you if if and when you buy well, the kayak. Yeah, and anybody signing up before the show online still gets that still gets that yeah, deal. the Bocho deal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very and good, so Arnie. You, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. When we come back, we're gonna take some winners here. Jared and Ron are each going to pick one. They're going to win some stuff. Wrap things up. Tell you about tomorrow's show. Stay tuned. Let's talk. Hook up on the Mighty 1090. Serious. What a tuna and yellowtail season last year. Many say the best in 30 years. Could this season be even better? Don't be caught without the right gear. Now is the time to stock up on the trolling lure that proved to be the best. x wrap Magnum by Rapala. Every x wrap Magnum runs perfect right out of the box. They all have extreme action and a controlled deep diving aggressive swimming motion. The large diving lip partners with premium VMC hooks and an irresistible rattle. The x wrap Magnum by Rapala can be trolled at high speeds without rolling or kicking out at depths to 15 feet. Bottom line, the x wrap Magnum is the ultimate trolling lure for Southern California and Baja saltwater fishing. With a textured translucent body, internal holographic foil, and 3D holographic eye, x wrap Magnums are irresistible to saltwater game fish. Available in a variety of colors and sizes. No matter what you choose, the fish can't resist x wrap Magnum by Rapala. Ask your local tackle dealer which is the hottest color and size and start catching more fish. See the entire line at Rapala.com. It's Fred Hall Show time. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the saltwater tackle professionals. Be sure to stop by the Fisherman's Landing Tackle booth. The best selection of saltwater tackle at the show, including the entire lineup of -of state-of-the-art Calstar rods. A huge selection of West Coast, Graphiter, and the popular GG series, plus the one and only Calstar Rail Rod. A must-have for long-range anglers. For the hottest deals and the best selection ever, on CalStar Rods with the staff that has used the gear and knows your needs. Come see our best booth ever, Fisherman's Landing Tackle, a must-visit at this year's Fred Hall Show. If you're into the water, I mean getting out and going fishing, diving, surfing, shark diving, or kayaking, you need to check out the Islander at islander-charters.com. The Islander is San Diego's leader when it comes to two- to five-day fishing. In addition, the Islander offers kayak mothership trips, spear fishing trips, and more. Watch the website for trips and adventures available. You won't find a more knowledgeable or well-rounded team than Captain Shane Slaughter, John Conniff, and crew. Experience the Islander difference. Visit islander-charters.com for all the details. Great boats, free parking, and a fully stocked tackle shop. Just a few of the reasons Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top charter boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Eclipse, Apollo, Outer Limits, Pacific Star, El Gato Dos, Alexis Pride, Privateer, Tribute, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half, three-quarter, and full-day trips available. Check out the full-service tackle store at Seaforth Sport Fishing, and it's all run by fishermen for fishermen 1717 Quivera Road just off Mission Bay Drive in Mission Bay book online at seaforthlanding.com XSRS 1090 AM Rosarito Baja California You're listening to the home of the Padres Oh my gosh this club is playing fantastic baseball San Diego's sports leader the mighty 1090 
Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. I want to thank all our callers for hanging in there. We was full the whole time, and sadly, we left a lot of callers on hold. They've been hanging in there for a long time. Call tomorrow. We'll get you back on there and appreciate all your support out there for Let's Talk Hook Up. And congratulations, Dan in San Diego. You're going to Fishing Mission and to the Fred Hall Show. You're going to get a ticket to the Del Mar Show. And Bob and Santee, you get the Salty Crew, the brand new hot off the press deep sea fishing short and a ticket to the Fred Hall Show. Congratulations to Bob. And how do we sign up online or get more information on Fishing Mission? Yeah, so on the Fastlane website, click on the Fish and Mission tab. When that opens up, there's a little button that says Select an Option, and that'll give you that'll that'll you'll be able to scroll through your the dates and options there, um, and you'll be able to see availability on uh, some of the trips that are already um, filled up or or not, you know. So um, that's it. You go to Fastlane kayaking.com get on the fish and mission tab and then go to select an option that that option is giving you your dates okay better Perfect. yet if you're like over 30 don't understand <laughs> that call me i i can relate yeah yeah 619-222-0766 and i can tell you ron has found the fountain of youth you're a little older like us you just call him and ask him what the fountain of youth is. He taught me, and he'll teach you, too. And you're, and you're so a believer. Check it out. <laughs> I'm a believer now. Fishing Mission and, of course, Fastlane Kayaks and Mission Bay. Once again, how do we find you? 619-222-0766. Or right next to Dana Landing in Mission Bay, right across from SeaWorld. And, of course, at the show, Del Mar, Thursday through Sunday at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. Thanks, guys. And, of course, Salty Crew will be there, too. Jared. A salty crew will be in the Dana Landing booth in Del Mar, right? Yep, that's it. And get then those how cool do we get, hats. And then, of course, how do we get salty crew if we don't go to the show? Um, you can get it at any of your uh, core surf shops, right? Yeah, anywhere on the West Coast. Yeah. Um, uh, you can Dana get it at Landing. Fast Lane. Uh, Dana you can get it at Fast Lane. You that's what I was waiting for. Eric yeah. Stackle and Ventura, and uh, online at Salty. Crew.com. All right, thanks, Jared, and good luck thanks, with that. Pete. We'll see you at the show. Good luck to you, and we'll be back tomorrow morning, 7 to 9 a.m. Bart Hall and Mike Lum from the Fred Hall Show. Thanks for listening today. We'll see you tomorrow morning right back here on the Mighty 1090. Maybe it's the full moon.